Hello, my name is Harry Diggins and I'm the National Development Manager here at the Football Association, currently working on our Future of Youth Football project, um, specifically three versus three at the moment. And here today to just share an additional coaches briefing for you um, around this format, but specifically focusing um, and putting under the microscope the role of the adult. What does that look like? How do we support um, young players during a 3v3 event that we may be involved with? So there's three different roles that we have um, that adults may take during a 3v3 um, event and environment. The first one is our pitch coordinators, and we are there as a pitch coordinator to provide positive and supportive encouragement to all of our players. And that's really important to um, create an environment that young people can thrive in. And part of that environment is made by us by supporting those young people. The second one is around overseeing the running of a pitch um, and ensuring that two teams are ready to play after each break, uh, making sure that you know, you've got football on your pitch, all of those basic things that we may take for granted. That's really important that we're there just to try and support those individuals to make sure that you know, when they're playing, they can have the best experience as possible. As, as part of that role as the pitch coordinator, it's also um, key to note that, you know, we are there to support and facilitate the game and it's not there to referee. It's not there to um, govern the game and make sure it's played by the rules, as it said in, in your previous briefings that you'd have had. However, this is around us just supporting and really embedding the rules. So if you notice a pitch in particular um, or, or a team in particular that's been on your pitch that, you know, might not be applying some of those rules properly. So they've scored a goal, but they don't actually retreat back to their goal um, and touch their crossbar you know as adults we can play that role as a coordinator to positively support them and just embed those rules so you know it doesn't become a one-way traffic for one team um, you know and hopefully that gives them the opportunity for the opponents that they may be playing to really embed that the other example i can give around kind of stepping in as a pitch coordinator maybe you know persistent fouling um, or instance where you know young people are sliding in and potentially there um, could could cause danger in hurt towards other young people so you know again sometimes we may have to step in and just kind of make sure that we safeguard that whole environment so the role of that pitch coordinator is to do what it says currently on the screen however it is that little bit extra that it's just using a little bit of common sense and being there you know to support the young people to give them that best experience the second role is our pitch assistants. They're there to support players to maximise the playing time. So that might be an example is keeping footballs nearby, providing support to the coordinator should any issues arise. So it might be that I'm a coordinator, my colleague's an assistant, um, an injury has happened on my pitch. I'm dealing with the young person, find the parent or guardian, or well, the pitch assistant would step in as my as the coordinator on the pitch to allow the game to continue, which then will um, allow us to continue the game for these young people and still be compliant with the ratios of one to six for the safeguarding age group for this age group that we're currently coaching and dealing with. The last role of adults that we have really here is around our spectators and it's just getting them to, to be a part of this positive environment. So can they cheer, clap after each of those games? But then also we do encourage them to try and stay quiet and silent during games if possible. I really see the benefit in young people being able to play, make their own decisions. That's the environment we are creating. So hopefully parents and spectators um, and guardians will be able to um, fully adhere to that and support us with, you know, watching from a sideline and and getting involved um, as and when they see fit through the end of the games by you know clear cheering and clapping um, after each game to, to create an environment for those young people that they feel really empowered um, and you know they've, they've played some great football during that seven minute game they've just played. So the pitch set up for this weekend is going to still be the same with a carousel depending on if you're a morning or a mid-morning session um, we've got maybe a couple of slight tweaks depending on numbers that we've got attending but the example that I'll give you now as I go through the rest of this briefing is just working on a carousel of eight pitches so we'll have eight pitches set up on on Saturday morning um, or it might be as I said one more one less depending on numbers um, and for this week we're really intrigued to see what it looks like delivered slightly different in comparison to how you may have delivered previously so the first role um, that we'll be looking at is those pitch coordinators and for this event we will have a pitch coordinator attached to every single pitch so you'll all be assigned a pitch if you're a pitch coordinator you will stay on that pitch for the duration so if you're looking after one you will stay on one if you're looking after four you will stay on four you won't follow the teams you won't do anything other than staying on that pitch and supporting and facilitating the game from your pitch you'll kind of be that pitch coordinator and really oversee what that role looks like 
We don't want to take away the power of um, volunteers and additional assistance. So pitch assistance, we'll place ourselves to start with on the halfway line and then we will um, locate ourselves around the playing area as best as we can. The main thing we really want to try and avoid here is by putting um, the pitch assistance and end up having two adults per pitch. We really want to try and maximise this one adult per pitch environment um, and, and yeah, hopefully can create an environment where as pitch assistants, we are in the background, we are there to support should something happen. Um, however, we might take a bit more of a step back role this time um, and just watching from a distance, but knowing that we need, we're on hand should we need some, some assistance and some help. The player rotations is exactly the same as what we've done previously. So half the teams will remain on their pitch for the whole session. The other half will move around in an anti-clockwise direction. So again, if you are on pitch one, You'll be looking after three players for the duration of the event um, and then knowing that you will receive players from pitch two after each game and your players will transition onwards to pitch eight. So as a pitch coordinator, it is your responsibility to facilitate that and encourage the next team across and move the team on to their ne next pitch. Um, and then also making sure, obviously, you have footballs and the equipment ready to start the game um, by listening out for, for the cue of the two whistles to get ready. And then, of course, the long whistle um, to start to signify that the start of the 3v3 round of, of fixtures that we're about to take part in. There is a fixture card that will be provided to each team. So hopefully this provides a little bit of support during this process. However, um, hopefully it's quite a straightforward carousel that you just need to remember your team will always come from pitch two if you're looking after pitch one. So they'll always come from pitch two and you'll always move them on to pitch eight. I completely understand some of the conversations that may have happened previously around, well, what happens if my team's not on my pitch or can I follow my team round? For the duration of this weekend, it's really important that we follow the principles of having one adult per pitch. You remain on that pitch. There isn't any movement with those young people. So, yes, you will experience some different players on your pitch for the duration. But it's going back to what your role is. It's around creating a positive and supportive environment for all of those young people um, are, are taking part in free versus free. So hopefully you will be able to adhere to that and be able to support that that transition um, and, and be involved as part of that role. If there are any issues with that role then please speak to me um, on Saturday morning um, however this will be the, the, the direction that we'll be taking for this week's event at the FDC. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of clarity um, and gives you a bit more information on what that looks like. I will be there myself at the FDC on Saturday, so I'd be more than happy to have any conversations with anyone that may have any questions um, or some instant feedback from um, the event post the session. So, yeah, please make sure that, that you come and grab me and, and have that conversation. Um, but look, I can't thank you enough for giving up um, some time to, to support us with this development. This is going to um, really support us for the the, the future of youth football and, and really give us insight into kind of the delivery methodologies that we can use um, to really embed 3v3 across the country um, when the time comes. So if, yeah, if you have any questions, please reach out. Other than that, I look forward to meeting you all and seeing you Saturday morning um, at the FDC. Thanks a lot.